And as for the favor of your master, then talk. Then discuss, meaning talk about it. Talk about the favor Allah has given you. What in the world does this ayah mean? I will read a long discussion by the ulama on this ayah because it's an intricate subject. And then I'll share with you what I find the most convincing at the end. وَأَمَّا الْأُمَّا فَقَدْ يَكُونُ التَّحْدِيثُ بِالنِّعْمَةِ مِنْهُمْ مَحْفُوفًا بِرِيَاءٍ أَوْ تَخَافُرٍ It could be that if Allah, Allah says, whatever favor Allah has given you, talk about it. Then if you sit there and talk about you know Allah has given me a lot of knowledge. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. You know Allah has given me like perfect tajweed. Alhamdulillah. Or mashallah, Allah has given me a house so sweet. Oh my God. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. It could be, because you're like, and somebody says, why are you talking like that? He goes, the ayah says, talk about the favor of Allah. I'm just living up to the ayah. He says, look, it could be for the ummah that when you talk about the favor Allah has given you, that you might start sounding like you're showing off, or you're full of yourself. Could be, right? Like I'm a genius, alhamdulillah. Like you, know, you could do that. <laughs> and it could be that you're making somebody feel less, like, less blessed by talking this way. So you, this has become something negative. وَهَذَا مَجَالٌ لِنَظَرْ فِي الْمُعَارَضَةِ بَيْنَ الْمُقْتَضَى وَالْمَانِعِ مُقْتَضِي وَالْمَانِعِ and this could be something that becomes a tension between those who have and those who don't have. Now you're making people people feel bad because they don't have the favors that you have. How do you reconcile this problem? The Ali radiallahu anhu was asked about some companions. So he praised them. He praised those companions. So they said to him, Okay, so you praise them, Ali. Why don't you tell us about yourself? What are some good qualities you have? And so he says, Mahlan, easy, easy. No, chill out. I'm not talking about myself. Ali told them. فَقَدْ نَهَ اللَّهُ عَنِ Because he says, Allah has, Allah has forbid, forbid, forbidden us to be self-righteous, to describe ourselves in high light. فَقِيلَ لَهُ أَلَيْسَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى يَقُولُ أَمَّا بِنِعْمَةِ رَبِّكَ فَحَدِّثْ But didn't Allah say, talk about the favor Allah has given you? So talk about it. وَقَالْ إِنِّي وحدث. Okay, I'll talk. كنت إذا سئلت أعطيت. Whenever I've been asked something, I try to give. وإذا سكت ابتديت. وبين الجوانح علم جم فاسألوني. And yes, when 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 things are asked of me, I try to give. I'll mention some good qualities of myself, basically. Some scholars looked at this ayah and said, no, نعمة نعمة ربك in this ayah is actually the Quran. As for the Quran that Allah has given you, talk about the Quran. Meaning, talk Quran. That's the favor of Allah on you. By the way, that ties you to the the whole surah ties together. If you take that interpretation, why? Why was the Prophet sad? Quran wasn't coming. Quran just came. That's the ni'mah of Allah. Now recite it. Hadith. Talk about it. That would be one very solid interpretation of this ayah. Wa min al ulama man ra'a wujub tahaddithi bin ni'mah. And others said, no, you should absolutely mention the favor of Allah that has been given to you. وَقَالَ الْقُرْتُبِي الْخِطَابُ لِلنَّبِي وَالْحُكْمُ عَامٌ لَهُ وَلِغَيْرِهِ Qurtubi said, رحمه الله, that this addresses the Prophet Wasallam, but it applies to everybody. وَقَالَ عِيَاضٌ فِي الشِّفَاءِ وَهَذَا خَاصٌ لَهُ عَامٌ لِأُمَّتِهِ Same thing, it's specific to the Prophet, but generally applies to the Ummah also. One of the people said, Oh Allah blessed me with Fajr at the Masjid yesterday. And Allah blessed me with this, this dhikr that I did yesterday. And Allah, you know, Allah blessed me with reciting half a juz or one juz yesterday or whatever. So they talk like that and they'd say, Abu Firas, people like you shouldn't talk like that. Why are you telling people the good stuff you do? And so he says, Allah said, talk about the good things that Allah has give, blessed you with. وَتَقُولُونَ أَنْتُمْ لَا تُحَدِّثُوا بِنِعْمَةِ اللَّهِ He said, that's not the favor of Allah is, Allah is referring to. Your good deeds are not what Allah is referring to. And that's the correct view. Actually from a textual point of view in the surah, what is it that Allah is referring to? Allah is referring to the fact that you were in crisis three times. What are the three crises? He was an orphan, he was lost, and then he was bankrupt. And in those crisis situations, Allah came to his aid. That is Allah's favor in the surah. When you want to talk about Allah's favor, what should you talk about? The times when you were in crisis, and Allah Azza wa Jal aided you. That you should always talk about. You should always remember. What will the benefit of that be? By the way, there are harms to the other side, and you can see them, right? Just talking about how Allah blessed you, I was actually in a dars of Qur'an. Allah blessed me with that in the masjid. 
or Allah bless me with a YouTube channel or what you know. That's not going to benefit you or anybody else. But when you talk about the favor Allah did for you, when you were in time of crisis, what will it do? It will give somebody else hope. It will actually, you know, if Allah did that for him, Allah will do that for me. They'll get inspired by it. How many times have you heard stories like that? L you know, listen to somebody talk about a story like that. They were in desperate need. They were asking Allah. Allah guided them. How many videos you may have seen of people who came to Islam, lost, and Allah guided them. This is, أَمَّا بِنِعْمَةِ رَبِّكَ فَحَدِّثْ You know, how many people were going bankrupt or they were sick and Allah gave them shifa and they talk about it and that becomes an encouragement for others, you know. This is أَمَّا بِنِعْمَةِ رَبِّكَ فَحَدِّثْ So this is not how good you are and you know, Alhamdulillah, I'm a really awesome person. That's not what this is. We're not looking at it correctly.